Welcome to Handshake Premium Training. My name is Alex and I'm the Premium Support Manager here at Handshake. Today we're going to walk through the process of sourcing students in Handshake. We'll also cover how to utilize filters, messaging, and templates. As we move on to the other video tutorials, please make note that at any point you can reach out to our support team from the top right hand corner of the app if you are experiencing any difficulties. We'll start by navigating to the left menu and select search students. Please note that in order to search students, you must first be connected to schools. When selecting search students, you will notice at the top of the page the number of students you have access to, depending on who you're connected with. With that said, Handshake has over 4 million students on our platform, so if you were to connect with all of our university partners, you will have access to all of these students. When sourcing students, we have a helpful search tool that can help you pinpoint who you would like to connect with based on your recruiting needs, like location interests, major category, and even institution types. As an Essentials Premium user, you can see the filters marked in gold. These filters are only offered to our premium employers. In our example today, we're going to source students who are interested in engineering. We'll use the major category to search engineering. and computer science. With that, you can see that we sourced 154 students. From here, we'll message the students we've sourced. We'll select all, message students. Please note, you can only message 100 students at a time. It's also very important that you keep the subject line as is, as is defaulted, as these have the highest click rates. You'll want to also use the variables to customize your emails to each student. We'll go ahead and insert a template. Secondly, you'll want to customize this as much as possible, letting the student know why you're reaching out to them. This helps with fraud and lets a student know that you're genuinely interested. You can also input the job link here and save as a hyperlink. And lastly, just make sure to write the recruiter name. We'll go ahead and send this campaign. And here you can see the exclusions that have applied to this specific campaign according to your preferences. You can adjust these preferences by clicking this button and it'll navigate you to your bulk messaging preferences where you can adjust them accordingly. We'll go ahead and navigate back and I'll show you how to send the campaign to the remaining 54 students. We'll toggle to the second page, click select all again, message students, and you can see the 54 included here. Lastly, I wanted to cover how you can view a student profile. You can right click the student name and a new tab will open. Here you can review their education, work experience, and organizations they're involved with. And then you can also send a one-on-one -on -one message here if you didn't want to send a campaign to multiple students at once.